Hey everyone, in this video I am going to demonstrate Stratadesk Notash OS for thin clients running on a Raspberry Pi 400. As you can see in here, I am running Raspberry Pi OS already, and I have installed Notash OS on this, this um, SD card. I am going to go ahead and switch the SD cards and boot Notash OS. So let's go ahead and turn this off. And once this is off, I am going to switch SD cards. And in order to restart the device, I am going to unplug and plug back in the power. Let's go ahead and finish this one time setup. I'm going to choose my time zone. Change the connection to Chromium here just for the demonstration. I'm going to set a password. We read the terms and finish that one time setup. This is ready. Now it's important to connect to Wi-Fi before any before we create any other connection. Um, to do that in no touch OS, we click uh, uh, Control Alt um, W, and we select the network. I'm going to enter the password in here. Remember this. Now let's go ahead and create a Windows Virtual Desktop um, connection. We right click anywhere on desktop and we create configuration. We enter the password that we set earlier. And then we go under connections. We see the Chromium existing one, we create a new one in here. Let's go ahead and edit this. So let's say Windows Virtual Desktop or WVD and from the connection mode we select uh, we select uh, Windows Virtual Desktop. Let's go ahead and save. Let's minimize this as you can see that WBD connection now has been created. So let's go ahead and launch this. I am going to sign in to my WBD account. And I'm going to select my application in here. And there we go. So I was testing earlier and this is exactly where I left. So we go on the block here, for, for example. I have this Word document just to see how this performs in here. So for example, do that, this. Okay. 
And that's it. Um, let's go ahead and disconnect for from WVD here. And this is Node.js running on Raspberry Pi 400.